once um, COVID hit and interest rates went down to to stim- try to stimulate the economy, um, things just went bonkers. The medium home price in Flagstaff is about $630,000, according to Zillow. That's down 2.6% compared to this time last year. While this is not a huge dip, it's promising. Kelly Broadus has been working in real estate for 25 years. She says the high interest rates have helped the housing market stabilize a little, but they're not the solution. They really didn't come down too much. They're It just made the the market a little bit more sluggish, just a little slower, you know. But I think sellers are still really reluctant to admit that maybe they need to lower their prices. Flagstaff homes weren't always this expensive. From 2021 to 2022, home prices jumped $100,000. So now buyers and sellers are in a tough spot. They can't afford it. And, uh, you know, but but also the, the, the frustration is, the folks that purchased a home back when the interest rates were in the twos, right? They don't want to sell, of course. Why would they sell? According to the city, almost 60% of residents say they were looking into relocating because of housing costs. The city of Flagstaff is looking at curbing the problem. They're implementing a 10-year housing plan that aims to build almost 8,000 new homes by 2031. At least 10% would need to be affordable housing. Brother says even with all the obstacles, you can still purchase a home. As long as you have a job and, a, and decent credit, you know, we can find a way to get you in a house, you know, and educate our sellers, you know, on things that they can do to help buyers get into their houses, too. And like she said, they will help you find a home. Again, those main things is that you have a job and you have good credit, but there are local realtors here in Flagstaff and Northern Arizona that will help you with the next steps into your dream house. Reporting in Flagstaff, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family. All right, Mason, thanks so much. Looks like it's a 